I born in Bosnia mm -hmm. because uh, because my my grandfather moved from Croatia to Bosnia. Then uh, born my father, and then I born ninety five in the war in the war time. I go there school, you know, like we don't have anything there. We don't. We it's village. It's like a uh, thousand people. Yeah. Nobody knows what is MMA. Nobody knows. Uh, it's only only what we have is judo. Guys, was really good, but nothing's for high level for a yeah. championship. You know, so so no no Olympics, no nothing. You know? so it's a small village. And then, uh, I go to school. I, I I train also judo when I was young, and then I moved to rugby. When I was also young, the rugby team, a hey, Robocop, Robo Robocop. Okay, Robocop sounds good, you know. One guy was uh, in uh, was before MMA fighter, and uh, we trained together a little bit. He said to me, "Hey, do you want to fight?" With one guy was from also from another another city in Bosnia. He said, "Yes, I, I want to try," you know. And then for this uh, preparation, I had like three months. They bring me like, like look, I I look, I gonna lose hundred percent because the guy had, had uh, five five fights, you know, so he was already professional, and then I beat the guy. I didn't know how to pro. I did, uh, was uh, was really a tough fight for me, but I feel some something good, you know. So in second round, I change the game, I switch, and then I go on the top, and then I use two times uh, the body shot uh, with the left hand, then I go up and the uh, uh, third left was in the head and he goes out to see, oh, I, I can't hit you. <laughs> and then sure. I start all the time, you know, just MMA, MMA, but no, no coaches, nothing. Zato što sam se rodio u toj zemlji gdje smo svi divljaci i automatski kad se rodiš tamo, tamo si divljak i pojedinc nije baš svako, ali uglavnom mnogo njih je divlji, sve je divljina tamo, isto imamo šume opasne i bio je rat isto. Sve je to genetika i sve je to ljudina. Prvo da sam učinio u Džermaniju. Moj menadžer, brat Ivan Dijakovic, sam učinio u Sarajevo, to je final fight čempionat. I ask, hey, brat, can I učinio u tvojima? For it. I don't know for camp, but maybe I stay. I will see. Oh, he said, yeah, we will try. Then I sent after three months uh, message again. Hey, can I come or not? Because I want to know. And then he he said, yeah, room is free. And then I moved to this other Germany. Yeah, alone, no money, no not no food, nothing. Alone with uh, 18 years old. You know, this is part of the life. Then. Uh, I live in in gym two years. At gym I, li I live two years, and my manager pushed me always in the fire, always good fight. I go Russia, I go Brazil, I go you know, I go back in Croatia. That time was uh, FFC, was really good organization. He pushed me with a really good opponents. You are or, or you are not. You know. I show I show myself. I believe in my hands. I believe in, uh, in wrestling. And then I beat one, two, three, four, five, six guys, you know, and then I see, oh, can be something, you know, but I just um, I keep the, the training. Looking in absolutely outstanding shape and very much up. And he wouldn't be in contendership for this title if he wasn't good, and he is. You know, seven wins, two losses. I'm tired of it, it's uh, very dangerous. Hey! Uh, MMA, four ends close with the red stripe. And the rest in the blue stripe, blue corner. Oh, oh big, big shit! That was a big kick, Richard! 
život da radiš neke nevaljaste stvari i tako da ovoga Round 1 is underway Oh it's absolutely flying for the leg not really preparing very long and tall fights for the welterweight division Zoldic a lot more expensive. Power shots have definitely come from Roberto Zoldic. And another left hand to the body and these will add up and a good left hand behind it. Zoldic now going for the kill. Landing punch after punch. Needs to get away from the kid. Good left kick. And down to his pocket. The referee's going to stop this fight. This will probably be it. Roberto And that again a very, very tough opponent. Mean business. In both battles. What a zip on that punch. And Long has got to be very careful about. Oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 oh my goodness! Roberto Solnik absolutely waylays Lou Long with that head kick. He come behind any strikes on that one, and oh, walked straight into it with his hands down. Roberto, you're stepping in on relatively late notice. How do you feel? I feel great. Public, public is uh, amazing, you know. I feel great and uh, I believe in myself. And uh, how much were you training before you got the call? I'm always in training, you know. I'm in, always in good shape. And if people are saying you are the next uh, Miracle Pro Cup. Does that annoy you, or is, uh, how does that yeah. how does that make you feel? You know, I, I like Mirko Prokop. He's from my country, you know. But I am Roberto Solic. Yeah. I wanna do something who don't have before, you know. Yeah, that's right. I have a left high kick, left high, left punch, you know. But I think I'm more uh, complete a fighter than Mirko yeah. in that in that time, and I show show that. What sort of what sort of finish are you looking for this weekend? What's the prediction? Uh, I I looking always always to finish. But how? Doesn't matter how. Only finish, you know. And uh, who knows? We will see tomorrow night. Good, good, good fight.
Post KSW 41 alongside the new champion, Roberto Solvit. So what's your secret then? Hard work, being consistent. I mean, you were in shape for this fight. What's the big thing that you think makes you successful in MMA? Me. I think yeah, head, head. when you see people, when you take the punches hard, you need to stand up, you need to fight. Maybe I'm born for this. You know. Intelligence. Intelligence. Comes natural. You need to smart, not panic, you know. And, uh, uh, Boris is an amazing rapper. Take my, my leg, you know, I, I see the heel hook, but I, I'm smart, I'm easy. I, I, I uh, throw the leg and uh, punch, you know. Kolejne łokcie, bardzo mocne, potwornie mocne, jeden za drugim, ciosy młotkowe. Mi doping działa cuda, ale tu chyba już żadnego cudu nie będzie. Nie przecie. A zła wiadomość dla Mańkowskiego jest taka, że są jeszcze dwie następne rundy. To nie było przerwa. Czwartej. Zdrowie zawodnika jest ważniejsze. Tak, w tym narożniku. Człowiek, który zrobił więcej. Roberto Solvi. Mariana Kmity. You know, fans, media. Before that, I, don't, I didn't have anything. And then I lo lose myself. No more motivation. Because I am now. Uh, already KSW champion, too much, uh, hey, you, you Roboco, blah, blah, you know. And uh, first fight with the Drikus, everybody say, ah, easy fight, bro, no no worries, you know. Look, uh, the, the fight style, blah, 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 and then uh, I say, okay, and then I took too easy. And then in that that, that game, I had some, some big problems with weight cut. Uh -huh. Because I know that he is uh, two times uh, champion EFC middleweight and welterweight, uh -huh. and then I think I, I need more gain weight. I need be stronger because the guy is middleweight. Was really a big mistake because I, I just I had a lot of kilograms to cut. Then you know, first round was so so, and then I say in my head, okay, he or me, I just go. I go forward. I'm happy that happened in that time because I was young. 